hello everyone today in this video we are going to learn how to find compound interest using formula so the formulas we are going to use i will be solving two examples in this video and the formulas we are going to use are the first one is when the interest is compounded annually or yearly the second one is when the interest is compounded half yearly we are going to solve one example of each so the first formula is amount is equal to principal time 1 plus r over 100 whole raised to power n where a is the amount p is the principal r is the rate of interest and n is the number of years so when we get the amount we are going to use the formula for compound interest which is amount minus principal so we'll get the compound interest the next one is when the interest is compounded half yearly so when the interest is compounded half yearly half yearly means so there will be two half years in one year so that the n will become 2n and the rate of interest will become half which is r over 2 so our formula will get changed to a is equal to p times 1 plus r over 200 whole raised to power 2n with the use of the formula amount minus principal we can get the compound interest so let's get started with our first example where the interest is compounded yearly let's solve our first example where our principal amount is 6000 rupees and it is being kept or it is being compounded for two years with the rate of interest of 9% annually so we need to find the compound interest here so we'll use the formula for amount first which is a is equal to p times 1 plus r over 100 raised to power n and after finding the amount we can find the compound interest using the formula compound interest is equal to amount minus principal so our principal is 6000 rupees so we will put 6000 p is 6000 now we will put the values in the formula so p is 6000 1 plus 9 over 100 raised to power 2 so amount is equal to 6000 this will give us 100 plus 9 over 100 raised to power 2 then this is 6000 so this is 109 over 100 square now after solving this gets multiplied two times and 100 times 100 so our amount will come out to be this gets cancelled three zeros gets cancelled so we are left we are left with six times 109 times 109 over 10 so amount comes out to be after solving this comes out to be rupees 7128.6 so this is our amount now we need to find the compound interest so compound interest is equal to amount minus principal so amount is 7128.6 minus the principal amount is 6000 rupees so our compound interest comes out to be rupees 1128.6 so this is compound interest when 6 principal amount of 6000 is compounded annually for two years with a rate of interest of nine so these are the steps you need to follow to find the compound interest using the formula when the amount is compounded annually let's take one more example where the amount is compounded semi-annually or half yearly 
so this is our second example where the we have to find the compound interest when the principal of 8000 rupees at a rate of 10% per annum and for one year is compounded half yearly so let's use our formula which we have discussed earlier amount will become a is equal to p times 1 plus r over 200 200 because it is compounded half yearly raised to power 2n so this is our formula for amount is compounded half yearly so we'll substitute or put the values here so 8000 1 plus r is 10 percent over 200 raised to power 2 times 1 so this will become 8000 1 plus 1 over 20 raised to power 2 so this is going to be 8000 20 plus 1 over 20 square or 8000 times 21 over 20 square so this will be 8000 times 21 times 21 over 20 times 20 this is our amount so amount is equal to these zeros gets cancelled 2 times 4 and 2 times 2 so this will be 20 times 21 times 21 amount will become 8820 rupees so this is our amount and we need to find the compound interest which will be amount minus the principal amount so our amount 8820 minus the principal is 8000 so compound interest will be 820 rupees so this is our final answer when the interest is compounded half yearly so these are the steps you need to follow to find the compound interest when the interest is compounded half yearly i hope this is helpful to you thanks for watching